Hey, what's up guys? It's so good to be back with you. Ricky here, uh, in case we haven't had a chance to connect uh, or meet online. Uh, it feels like it's been probably a couple weeks or so since I've done uh, a daily devotional video. So thank you to everyone who's jumped in and helped out from Brandon uh, to Kimberly to Stephanie to Shannon. Um, uh, who else? Deborah has been involved. Lacey. I mean, tons of people get involved and it's so cool to see the community involvement. Uh, if you want to ever do a video, just email me, ricky at faithbox.com and let me know. Uh, but it's great to be back with you guys for day number 28 as we wrap up the renewal theme. And it's crazy that it's the end of April already. Uh, and here's what today's devotional comes or says from 2 Corinthians 4, 16. That is why we never give up. Though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. It's clear from this verse that Paul was full of vigor, passion, and zealousness despite the wear and tear his body had taken. Though physically he was beat down, spiritually he was as strong as he'd ever been. And it was all because the Spirit was at work, renewing his spirit every day. Similarly, King David wrote in Psalm 37, 25, Once I was young, and now I am old, yet I have never seen the godly abandoned. God has a unique way of revitalizing our spirits and making us young and new, even as we age or experience our, body, or experience our bodies fail physically. It was the supernatural process that gave Paul the confidence to proclaim that is why we never give up. He knew that if God could renew his spirit daily, then nothing was beyond the realm of possibility or too far for hope or too far to hope for. Uh, and then there's some reflection questions at the bottom. It says, what have you given up on and what does God need to renew? Now, this devotion is really uh, relevant because I think it, it really ties in with this whole kind of ethos of, of hope. You know, we, we all hope for things. And, you know, when you're young, you hope for uh, a fun life. You know, when you, you move into your 20s, uh, you hope for fulfillment, you know, or significance and finding a romantic, you know, um, partner, spouse, you know, to be with or, or for, for purpose or, or something like that. And I uh, hope to buy a house, you know, you hope to be established. And, um, and the longer that we hope for things and then those things don't end up being fulfilled or renewed, I think it's easy to lose sight of our hope and it's easy to lose sight of those things that we long for. And, you know, my wife and I, I think I've shared on here multiple times that, um, you know, we've longed for and prayed for uh, a second child uh, and for years. And we, you know, have gone through the process of, you know, trying to have a baby and then recently started meeting with uh, for fertility doctors. And then all of a sudden when the pandemic hit, all of those things stopped, the appointment stopped, you know, the, the things that the process that we had begun stopped. And, and it's like, man, like your hopes are just put on pause again. And yet, you know, that is happening in our personal lives. And then I pastor a church or we pastor a church and here in New York City and the epidemic and the epi epicenter of the pandemic, I should say. Um, and, you know, things have been busy with trying to help people, trying to serve our community, trying to find places to, to get involved and, and make a difference in our neighborhood and, and in the lives of the people who have lost jobs and have been impacted by the virus or have fallen sick and ill due to coronavirus. And all of these things are, are taking place. Um, and like I said, it's easy when stuff like that happens for you or for me to, to feel like we, we lose our hope um, and that, you know, oh, well, I guess that's just put on pause for now. And maybe one day in the future, I can come back to that. Um, but I have to say, you know, for me, like I look at this verse and I look at what Paul wrote here uh, in Second Corinthians. And, and I think about this, you know, we never give up, though our bodies are dying. Our spirits are being renewed every day. And I don't know about you, but I found for me over these last you know few weeks that my time with God has been very critical and crucial, and and yet at the same time very revitalizing, um, because there is a lot on my on my plate. There is a lot on my shoulders. On our family, you know, there's a lot that we've got to carry uh, and deal with at this time. Um, yet somehow God continues to renew us every single day and give us the strength that we need to be able to serve and to minister and to care. And you know, I still work with Faith Box. I still have my responsibilities that I that I have to fulfill. Um, you know, with that. And so all of these different things, yet I find that God is capable of renewing us every single day. And because he renews us on a daily basis, and here's where it comes full circle, because he renews me on a daily basis, it actually gives me hope for, you know, that child. It gives me hope for that dream. It gives me hope for what I thought I was going to experience in 2020 that I've not yet been able to experience. Because if I see that God can renew me on a daily basis, then the big picture, when I zoom out, I know that God's got the future in his hands and I know that he's capable of restoring it. And so, uh, again, we just ask you, like, what, what have you given up on and what is it that God needs to renew? What dreams, what hopes, what aspirations does God need to renew in your heart and in your life through this process? I'll be back here with you guys tomorrow as we continue with day number 29. I'll see you then.